in today's video I will be making some cesium ozonide from cesium superoxide. There already is an awesome video by Chemical Force about potassium and cesium ozonide. It is a great video and you should definitely check it out. A link will be in the description. The difference between his method and my method will be the precursor. Chemical Force was using cesium hydroxide, which forms water when reacting with ozone. The water that forms immediately reacts with the ozonite and it decomposes. I will be using cesium superoxide, the same cesium superoxide I made in my last video. And in the reaction between the superoxide and the ozone, no water is formed. So there is no water the ozonite can react with. This is how I'm going to make the cesium ozonide. I have a glass vial here with two narrow sections at the top and the bottom. In the bottom there is a piece of glass wool and I will pump a mixture of ozone and oxygen through this tube here and the cesium superoxide will be in this vial and it will kind of work like a fluidized bed reactor so the ozone will travel through the cesium superoxide and form cesium ozonide. At the moment only oxygen is flowing through the vial. As soon as I turn on the ozone generator, the superoxide reacts with the ozone to form cesium ozonide. As the ozonide is formed, you can see the color change from yellow-orange to red. There is still some unreacted superoxide left, so it's basically a mixture of cesium superoxide and cesium ozonide. You can extract the ozonide with liquid ammonia to get pure cesium ozonide. But I cannot work with liquid ammonia in my room. As soon as I have the right environment for it, I will extract the ozonide and make a video about it. Here you can see the superoxide on the top compared to the ozonide at the bottom. Pure cesium ozonide can be stored at minus 20 degrees C for several months, but sooner or later it will decompose to form cesium superoxide and oxygen. While you are watching another one, I want to take the time and thank my Patreons. I spend a lot of money on my projects and I greatly appreciate that you are supporting me in doing what I love. I hope you liked the video. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, write me a comment. 
Other than that, thank you a lot for watching.